Hi, I'm Carl Reines with FTS Hydrology, and I'm going to show you today how to remove a connectorized cable from a DTS-12. So step one is you're going to take and remove the threads on the locking sleeve, and then slide it up out of the way. You then take the sensor, and you just slowly rotate this. You don't want to rotate it too much, and you do not want to twist. No twisting. If you twist this, you could break off the pins inside. Just want to slowly rotate this, and it helps to break the air seal. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to reinstall the connector onto the DTS-12. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take some dielectric grease, and you're going to place dielectric grease around the O-ring fitting on the connector here on the DTS-12. You have to have this grease on here. It will be almost impossible to mate it if you don't put the grease on. And it will also assist in the removal of the sensor, uh, the cable from the sensor. So now we're going to show you how to put the connector back on. So you're going to find the two little dots on the connector here, and you're going to line them up with the large pin on the DTS-12 connectorized cable. Line them up, push it on to that point, to the big O-ring point, and then you're just going to slowly rotate it. This helps to get some air in it. And just slowly rotate it, not very much. And it snaps right back on. You then take the locking sleeve, slide it over it, and rotate it back up and just hand tighten it. 